Hello everybody, this is your boy the Almighty One coming at you with a video and I got a package to unravel. This is Collector's Edition number 25. Yes, number 25. And this one here, ladies and gentlemen, is a new one. Before I get right into it, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell on top or bottom of the video, opinion where you're viewing it from. And don't forget to smash the like because that will get the video also in all YouTube land, social media, and all the landscape that is pertain to social media. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, I don't have many minutes to do this. I'm going to go ahead and try to make this split as quick as possible. This one is from, from, from a comic book company called Craven. Craven's Comics, Comic Books, and Collectibles. And they are a new company, a company that I just recently discovered. Let me tell you guys that, that, that I got um, taken off of good old comics. So now I didn't, so, so I had to find, so I, so I had to search for a new comic, a comic book to do where I get my comic books from. Well, these, these are the ones. And um, Craven Comics is a new one. And um, I, I, I purchased this book from them. Uh, this is Monday. I purchased this book from them last Saturday. I think last, no. Oh, Last Sunday, I purchased from book from them last Sunday, not the Sunday just passed last Sunday. And um, I paid for this book, uh, I paid for this book, uh, 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 um, Tuesday, I believe, because I was looking for the um, I was looking for my PayPal um account, and I thought that it would be in, in, in the PayPal account, but it wasn't. So so I so I so, so I had to search the web to find them, and I and there they was. They sent my invoice through the email, but they they didn't send them to my PayPal account. So again, that's how they work. So um so if you guys out there are familiar with Craven's comments, please go ahead and um get with them as quick as you can possible because they are a new company that they've been around for quite some time to me. I'm not, I'm not sure how long it's been, but. They are new to me, and they are my, they are my, uh, 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 my replacement from good old comics. So, um, and here it says, here's, and it says, here's a freebie, so they give me some free here. Can't wait to get to that in a minute. But this is what I want to show you guys. This is, now this one here, remember I was also saying that when I make, when, when I do comics, when I buy comics, I don't, I don't, I don't know what name they are or what, or what, what book name that I bought. Well, this one I knew. But this one here on, 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 on the one only a week ago. So, oh my goodness! Wow, wow, that is a beautiful book, and it's in top grade condition. I can't believe this book is this good. Oh my God, goodness! Wow, wow, that's a beautiful book. See here's the, see here's the here's the, the label on the back of it. So, whenever you get a crazy comments from them. They they, 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 they they keep labels on, on the back of the comic book so you're familiar, be familiar with who they are and coming out. Okay, I already have Wolverine 1. I bought that through uh, Morris Parter. I bought number 2 through Morris Parter. And I also bought number 3 from them. This is number 4, ladies and gentlemen. number 4. This is a key key book. This is um Rough House and this is Blood Sport. These are two new two mutants that were part of the um the Wolverine series. If you guys remember, the Wolverine series started in a city called Madripoor, which is some some type of um third world country that Wolverine somehow got there. I'm not exactly sure how, what happened, but he wound up going there, and um he has met a different variety of people there. And um, some of the guys are mutants there, and he met quite a few of them. This isn't two of them here. These, these two guys, these, these, these are two bad guys, as you, you, of course, you guys are familiar with. Rough House and Bloodsport. And that's what it says here on the yellow label. This is number four, like I told you guys. And as you can see, it's in Mala Bagging. This book is in excellent condition, as you can see, so, so, so you can get a good look at it. It's in excellent condition, all the way around. There's nothing wrong with the spine. The wrong on top of the book, no mind the green tape that they're keeping the book closed. And here's the fine. See, nothing wrong with that book. The fine is perfect in condition. And this is the direct edition. Um, direct edition. This book costs a good, um, uh, uh, this book costs $15, 15, which is not bad. And uh, most 
Back then, Wolverine books were quite expensive. Number one is still off. Number one in between 90 bucks to 100, depending on the condition. The Wolverine book that I, the first Wolverine one that I bought was top in this condition. It was, it's a 9.0, 9 point, between 9.0 and 9.5. It's in good, great condition. I can get it great if I want to, and I, I probably plan to. And this one here's in great condition, so I'm gonna get this here great as well. So, um, one thing, like, I mean, I, I like buying my books raw. And this one here's a raw book in particular, Wolverine series number four, 15 bucks. How much it costs? And it said first appearance of Blood Sport, aka you know, yeah, Blood Dream, aka Blood Sport. First appearance of Rough House. First appearance of um, Archer Cockeran. I'm not Cockeran. I'm not sure who who Cockeran is, but I will say this. Um, like I said, Craven comic books and collectibles. Um, if you guys want to go and buy comic books from them, you can. The, the um this um www.cravenscomics.com. That is their website, and I'm quite sure that I'm quite sure they got a different variety of books to show. But they are a different comic book company that I, that I had to grow accustomed to because these guys use a camera and go from go from area to area of the store and show a large wall of comic books. When I saw Wolverine 4, I had to get it because um I had Wolverine 4 paid in my eBay account. Now since I got this in gray, great condition, I don't I, I can remove that and then we're gonna worry about getting it. And this book is like I said, it's in great condition. Um in great I mean it's in grand condition. This book is awesome. And I've been waiting to get this one for quite some time. So you can see the rough house beat up on Wolverine right there. And um, this girl, I'm not exactly sure who the girl is. I think that's the one he fell in love with. I forgot her name. I think that's her. And you can see Bloodsport is holding her. It looks like he's holding her claw for, no, that's all. He's hold, holding her hand. And look like he's, look like he's dragged. You can see very carefully. If you look, see, 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 see this hand, this is hand is white here. And this hand here is red. So it looks so, so look like he's draining her blood, look like. And this guy's a mutant. He's a mutant. And Roughhouse is a mutant as well. This guy is super strong. I forgot what his abilities are. He, he had tough skin that I do know. And he's hard. And he's, he's a big man. You can, see how, you can see how big he is there. And then here's um, Blood Sport, real thin guy. But he he has the ability to drain the blood, I guess, from his opponent or people that he had touched. And this is a beautiful book. I mean, it has... Um, I mean, it's well documented. It looks like it has a little mark there, but I really can't tell. I don't think it is. And this book is, I mean, it's perfect all the way around. This book is a beautiful, beautiful book. And I've been wanting to buy number four. That's how I got it. I'm good. Okay, now, here's the freebie that they sent me. So let's see what the freebie is. I'm trying to tear it. Kept going to it feels like a comic book, but I could be wrong. So... Okay, here we go. Okay, hold up. All right, if I'm still turning to it, if you meant, there we go. All right. Let's see, let's see what this is. Oh, okay. Just some some cards in here. Yeah, it ended up in a, just some cards right here. Um, this is I guess this is their way of saying thank you. I guess here is um. Cravings, I'm missing collectibles. So in the model with the full, with the full back. There you go. And then here is their card, a personal card right here. That personal card, beautiful. Uh, here is um, Ocean Comics. That's pretty good. That's a, a little flyer. Cravings, a thank you letter right there. And here's what they sent me. I'm going to sort for hire number six. Nice. Very nice. And it's, a, and, and, and it's a pretty good book in great condition, too. And it's from Malibu Comics. It's in Malibu. Nice. Very nice book. Very nice book. Jurassic, Jurassic High Drinks Issue. Hmm. Okay. And here's what they... Let me see. Here's what they're... I'm going to go ahead and read this letter right quick. It says here... Thank you for supporting our small business. We greatly appreciate all the reviews, returning customers, and continued weekly 
viewership on our live shows and website. We look forward to continuing to bring you nothing but the absolute best comic books and other collectible content from around the world at your fingertips. We encourage you to check out our website. I gave you a website earlier in the, in the video. Go back and rewind and check it out. I'm not going to repeat it here. Uh, additionally, if you have not turned into our weekly show and you found us through other means, please take a moment to check out our live sales conducted every Sunday at 9 p.m. That I saw them for, for the second time last week. I just purchased a, I just purchased another book from them as well, and that should be coming at me shortly. Can't wait for that to get here. Uh, so, um, also we if also if you have a special request for a book title, run key. Um, character or something else, feel free to reach out directly to, to our page on Facebook or email. Um, okay, I gave you the email, and I give it to you no more. Finally, if you have a collection of books or other collectibles you are wanting to get rid of, we do buy collections. Hit us up today and let's get some good books or collectibles into your hands. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I'm gonna keep that. And um, this is this, 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 this very great. Very great. Wow, that is beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. Now to end the video, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to smash the like, like I mentioned just a few minutes or a few seconds ago. And let me know what you, what you think about this video. Let me know what you, what you think about Wolverine number four, the first appearance of Bloodsport and Rough House. And they be on Wolverine. And like I said, like I said I'm assuming that that's his girl right there. Um, and they got her, they got her in a tight squeeze right there. So you can see him, like I said, like I said earlier in the video, see his hand is red here and his hand is white there. So that lets you know that he's draining the girl's blood or something of that nature. Um, Wow, I am completely amazed by the book. And I love Myla Baggett because Myla Baggett makes, it makes old books look new. And you have to really actually look at the book directly to actually see if there's anything wrong with it. That's how, that's how, very, that's how good Myla Baggett is. That's why it's one of the most expensive bags to buy on the market. And the other the other regular baggings, you know, they show everything. They, they just actual bags that that's cheap and you can buy you can buy any bag you can buy book bag for magazines hard covers all that nation and, and you're good to go but when but when you buy a mile of bagging which is my favorite bagging on comic books they are very high and very expensive i just purchased some um so some some mile of bagging back here a few weeks ago and i have had the pleasure of putting some comic books in them the ones that i think that are key books or expensive ones and I got some comic books in storage that I, I, I can't wait to get my hands on because them, them, them model bags will be gone before you know it. And I might have about to some more model, model bags in the near future. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry to do, do, do this long talk, but I just want to get something off my chest before I end this, um, this segment. So, I am out of here. Peace out. Become be looking forward to some more videos in the near future. Like I said, you know what you know what I do. I ain't got nothing more to say to that. So don't forget to smash the like. Don't forget to comment. If the comment of the video is complete, let me know what you think about Wolverine number four. For the appearance of Bloodsport and Rough House. And I am out of here. Peace.